Hello, this is Morgan and Sean. We're from Great Falls, Montana. Uh, we love watching Trucker Josh vlogs. Don't forget to subscribe. Good morning, my fine friends on the internet and all you other people who don't want to be my friend. Good morning to you too. Even if you don't want to say good morning to me, I'll say good morning to you. We're here at our customer in Chanhassen, Minnesota, which is Minneapolis, right where we ended yesterday's video. Waiting, waiting, waiting to get unloaded. There's one truck in front of me and I think one of their local trucks just snuck in in front of me too. Not very nice, cutting the line. I've gotta be in Berlin, Wisconsin as soon as possible. They wanted me there before two, but now it looks, because I've been waiting here for so long, looks like it'll be more around three o'clock. But it is what it is. So uh, they, I called them, they said they'll be there late, so just whenever I get there, they'll get me loaded. Uh, but I'm assuming the whole place closes at five, so I'm assuming I gotta be there before five. Preferably like around four so that they can leave by five. I'm thinking that's what they meant by that because it's Friday, right? When I'm filming this and uh, If they don't load me today, I've got to wait till Monday and then I'm sitting stuck in Berlin, Wisconsin Till Monday and you know, I love Wisconsin, but Berlin, Wisconsin doesn't really have a lot to do Though I'm sure it's got a lot of nice people that live there. Are you gonna cut in front of me too, buddy? hope not. All these local drivers coming in just like driving right in front of me in line. I'm like, obviously they have the priority. So good morning. I haven't had a coffee yet, but we're here at the customer. We got to unload. I'm already all unstrapped. I'm already all ready to be dealt with. I'm ready for them to sign my paper so I can leave. Hopefully that won't be too much longer. And we're out of there. Booking it to Berlin. You gotta turn here, right? Yep. We'll go around the city of Minneapolis and I have my shipper waiting for me. Not too anxiously apparently though. He says, oh, they're gonna be there pretty late, so no big rush, but I'm gonna rush anyway. Usually if someone says, well, we're waiting here late anyways, or we're working late anyways, so no rush. That means hurry up. They don't want to work too late. At least that's what it means when I say it. <laughs> Let's get back on to the interstate here, 494. This takes us around the south end of Minneapolis, St. Paul. Continue on this road for 14 kilometers. Alright Karen, I trust you, I checked your work, much less traffic now than there was on the way in. Man, rush hour in Minneapolis is nuts, like they gotta start like creating different start times for different industries or different people, because everybody and their dog are on their way to work every day at the exact same time. And maybe if we spread out the start times and end times, we can spread out rush hour. That's never gonna happen. I'm just shooting out ideas.
here screaming through the great state that is Wisconsin. I like Wisconsin. It's mostly all bush like this. I feel very much at home. This is a state I could see myself living in. If I ever did live in the U.S. one day. Very much like home back in eastern Manitoba. So uh, we're about an hour away from our shipper. Should be, oh, it's a giant buffalo right there on the right. Oh, wow. Imagine having that in your front yard. Well, that's not actually, well, it's just a radio to move home, but I thought people actually lived there. <laughs> they just build the houses there and move them. Okay, never mind. What was I saying? Uh, we're an hour away from the shipper. I just talked to them to confirm that they're still going to load me today when I get there. And they said, oh, yeah, for sure. So I just spoke with my shipper and uh, asked them uh, just to confirm that they would still load me, you know, after two o'clock today. And he goes, oh yeah, for sure. Apparently they're gonna be there till like midnight, so they must be having quite the week, busy week. So they're gonna be there all evening, but we're gonna rush and get there as quickly as possible anyway. Cause like I said before, when they say that, you know, they're working later so they can load you a little later, it's no big deal. Uh, usually that means get your butt there as fast as you can so they can get you out of the way and finish whatever else is keeping them late. So I'm lucky that they have lots to do today and that they're going to load me later than they usually would because usually they shut their doors at 2, 2 o'clock. So uh, yeah, they'll load us up and then we'll turn around and start headed back towards Alberta. We need to get as far as we can today yet because I've got three days and just barely enough time to get there. Just barely. I gotta just book it. And from what I've seen, there's snow out west. You guys seen that? This is from last week. I, I released these videos about a week after. It takes me a little while to put them together and stuff. But uh, if you can think back to last week, remember all that snow they had in Alberta, in Montana, out in that area? Yeah, I'm headed straight for that. Yeah. <laughs> Montana got up to four feet of snow. Alberta got three feet, I think. Maybe four feet in some areas. The area I'm going to, though, I don't think got any snow. But you never know. It's a couple of days till we get up there. Anything can happen. So we might see our first snow of the season on this next trip after I pick this up. So buckle up, everybody. It's going to be a wild one. Nice little Wisconsin town here. Is this Oshkosh, Wisconsin? I think so, right? What a name. Oshkosh, Wisconsin. Purple hair on that chick. Purple. Just pointing that out. Purple hair in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. All right. Nice downtown though, eh? Well taken care of heritage buildings. Pretty cool sunset, eh? Been doing a lot of hurry up and waiting today. There was probably about seven trucks in front of me when I got here, maybe eight. And I'm now the next one in line. But I just looked over and noticed that. That looks pretty cool. So hopefully we'll get loaded soon. Definitely not gonna make it there for Wednesday when they wanted me there, so. Or was it Thursday? Thursday? Oh, we're gonna make it there for Friday morning, so I don't know when I'm gonna get a reload. It's <laughs> not good. I may be able to get reloaded Saturday if I get a load out of Meadow Lake, Saskatchewan. I think they do Saturday shipping there. I'm sure there's other couple of places that do Saturday shipping. So I won't be able to get anywhere by Friday afternoon. I'll be way up in Fort McMurray. And I want to go home, and I don't want to go all the way home empty. I'm going to be taking some time off this next week too again. Well, the truck's got to go in for a service. It's always in the shop. <laughs> Just recently. It's not going to be a trend that'll last forever, but for the time being. Got to go into the shop. We're installing that door in the back of our house, and then it's Thanksgiving. Got a couple of other things on our plate at home that we're trying to get finished. And then I will be booking it as hard as I can for the rest of the year until Christmas. Oh, the waiting is finally over and we're loaded up. 
we have what one two three four five six seven seven or eight of like mobile uh generator lights i guess mobile lights mobile lighting i'll show you it in the morning when it's uh brighter out we're just on our way out right now rolling on out uh we're gonna go to black river falls wisconsin to their flying J there and spend the night there i have just enough hours on my e-log to get there Ended up having to wait five and a half hours to get loaded here. Could have waited just, you know, another four and a half hours there. If I had been off duty the whole time, you know. But I can't just sit there off. I was on duty while I was uh, tying down the load. So I figured it was worth it just to put on down to Black River Falls. I like that Flying J better. We can get a little bit of road behind us. We'll see how far we can get from here. It's... Uh, it's gonna be tight. We're gonna be running hard, but uh, I like it that way. You know, keeps me busy, keeps me occupied. Well, we're stopping at the quick trip instead. I don't have quite enough time. I think I'm, I'm about five minutes short to get to the pilot flying J. So uh, this this came first. find a parking spot here this is where we parked that one time where I was like hey I've always just driven right past this one I've never actually really noticed it here yeah that's this one it looks like my spot is open for me again I'm gonna take a look around the lot though well just like that it's morning it goes quicker than you think hey okay? <laughs> so I'm just gonna Finish this day off by showing you the load that took forever to get loaded yesterday. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of these machines on here. They're uh, mobile generators and they got the lights. Uh, you, you know what they are, you can see it. They're smart. I got five of these ones that are sort of like angled like that. And then. I got three of these ones that are square. I don't know what the difference is. I don't really care. I'm gonna bring them up to oil country, Fort McMurray, Alberta. So have a good day, everybody. Thanks for watching today. There's a lot of hurry upping and waiting. Hurry up and, hurry up and waiting. A lot of waiting, but we're on the way now. We'll see you in tomorrow's video. Don't forget to tune in. Hit that subscribe button, hit that bell so that you don't miss when tomorrow's video goes live. And tell your friends, Share the videos out. I rely on you to get the word out about Trucker Josh. Talk to you later. Hello, this is Morgan and Sean. We're from Great Falls, Montana. Uh, we love watching Trucker Josh vlogs. Don't forget to subscribe.